in this lecture let us discuss about uniform cost search algorithm which is mainly used for uh, traversing a tree or graph which are having weights so you can uh, use this algorithm especially when the cost associated with each edge is different okay so this there should be a different cost available for each edge then you can use it and this all this algorithm it always considers the path to the goal node which has the lowest cumulative cost and also expansion a node expansion takes place based on the path cost from root node so uh, if there are three paths from root node then in that case the node which is having the lowest path is considered for expansion and it is mainly used to solve any tree or graph where the optimal cost is in demand and uh, you can implement this algorithm with the help of a priority queue because the node which is having the lowest cost will be given maximum priority based uh, with the help of priority queue so that that node can be used for or that node can be considered for expansion and say suppose if the path cost associated with all the edges is same then in that case we can say that this uniform cost search is equivalent to bfs algorithm let us solve this example. So here S is the initial node or the start node. So the cost which is associated with not that node will be zero. So here uh, let us take the node list and we'll place all the expanded nodes in, into this node list. So initially we are at start node. So place S here. And what is the cost associated with this node? That is zero. So it will be S naught. Now, now we need to expand this S0. Now we need to find out the neighboring nodes of S, adjacent nodes. Adjacent nodes are A, B and C. So let us add them to the node list here. So here for S0, adjacent nodes are B, B with cost 1, A with cost 3, C with cost 8. Out of three, these three, we need to select the node which is having the lowest cost for expansion. So which node is having lowest cost? That is B1. So you need to expand this B next. So find out the adjacent nodes of B. Adjacent nodes of B are, we have only one node that is G. Now we need to find out the cost to G from start node. So what is the cost? This is 1 plus this is 20. So 1 plus 20 is 21. So let us expand B1. So here write A3 and C8 as it is. And we are expanding this B1. So here we will get G as it is the adjacent node. And the weight associated with that is cost associated with that is 21. Now among 3, 8 and 21 find out the node with lowest cost. That is 3. So expand a next. So find out adjacent nodes of A that is D, E and G and find out the cost. So here cost of D is from start node that is 3 plus 3 which is 6. Whereas for E that is 3 plus 7, 10 and for G 3 plus 15 which is 18. So let us add all these nodes to the node list. So now when we expand A3, so write the write C8 as it is and G21 as it is. So these are already existing. And the new neighboring nodes are D with weight 6, E with weight 10, and G with cost 80. Then now we need to choose the node with least cost. So which node is having least cost? That is D6. So expand node D. So find out the adjacent nodes of D. So there are no adjacent nodes of D, right? So here, you'll write it like this. So take the remaining nodes as it is. So C8, E10, G18, G21. So write them. And after this, in this list, find out the one with least cost. 
that is C8. So find out the adjacent nodes of C. Adjacent node of C is G. Right? So path cost is 8 plus 5. That is 13. So add it to the node list. So when you expand C8, write these three as it is. And along with that, we got this new node, which is adjacent node of C. That is G with cost 13. Now among these three, find out the one with least cost. So you will get E10. So here E is not having any adjacent nodes. So you will write the remaining three nodes as it is. And among these three, now we got G13. So expand this node G. So we got, so there are no adjacent nodes for G. And here uh, we will write the remaining nodes as it is. So now we reach at the goal node. So you can find out the path. So here we got the cost as 13. So what is the path? Path is S, C and G. So the final path is S, C, G. And the cost associated with this is 13. So this is the solution. Now we reach the goal node from initial node. After expanding all the nodes, right? So this is your final node. And find out the number of nodes expanded. So here, how many number of nodes are expanded? One. So you need to include the goal node also. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So number of node number of nodes expanded, including the goal node, are seven. Okay. 